Today I am painting a red panda bear, so just one of the most charming and cutest creatures to ever exist, otherwise no biggie. I chose the Cuddy Handmade Cotton Rag Paper, it has a very rough texture and should contrast nicely with the painting. I also plan to add a metallic detail around my panda bear to make it stand out even more. I used washi tape to keep clean border of my rag paper and also to stick it to this white carton. It is actually a canvas covered carton from the other side, but I just discovered how handy size it is. And it is also sturdy, I finally found something that works better than sticking my paper directly to my desk. Sticking it to something that helps a little bit with the warping that happens when you expose the paper to more water than it was designed to handle. I know, seeing a watercolor paper looking back at me surprised that I used wet media on it is just ridiculous, but it happens more than it doesn't. I start with drawing a loose sketch based on a photo found online. Some things needed to be resized and repositioned to fit him on my paper and get him ready for the metallic embellishment later. I just have to be careful as this paper handles erasing almost as bad as water. But thankfully my needed eraser is a lifesaver. I will be using only three colors from my watercolor palette. Yellow ochre, English red and sepia and my watercolors are the St. Petersburg White Knights. After my watercolors I will add some more depth with my trusted Posca pen and with several matching colored pencils. The background is made by wetting the paper and splashing the three colors of choice around as this way they will match the finished panda nicely. They bleed around quite satisfyingly, don't they? But then there is the part requiring patience, the drying. I can't use a hairdryer as I would disturb my kitty's slumber and an ungodly amount of meowing and requests would take place. I try the paper with my hand and when it doesn't seem to be cold to the touch, I consider it dry enough. Then it is time to follow with the messy part, that is to apply the underlayer of the bear. Trying to keep the highlights and placing the dark parts where they belong. And then it needs to dry again before applying the acrylics and the pencils.
I like the texture the pencils are creating on the fur of the bear. It makes everything look properly fluffy. The last step is to add the metal embellishment. I decided for a golden acrylic circle so the cutie has something to sit on while judging us. Do you also find your kitties or pets and animals in general to judge you? They act as conscience.
I love the shimmer of the metallics, the washi tape came out beautifully and after adding a bit of a line art, the bear just pops from the paper. I am really happy about this one. Let me know if you like the mixed media combination of metallic and watercolor. Comment, like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.